and to finish our opening statement tomorrow. Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. President. Majority Leader. Pursuant to impeachment rule 16, I make a motion. Statements were attributed to me moments ago by the House impeachment managers. Statements relating to the content of conversations between a phone call involving President Trump and Senator Tuberville mm -hmm. were not made by me. They're not accurate. And they're contrary to fact. I move pursuant to Rule 16 that they be stricken from the record. Pursuant to Senate Resolution 47, Section 4, parties' uh, presentations are not limited to the record provided for in Section 1 of that resolution. Senator, I appeal the ruling of the chair. Uh, Mr. President, would Mr. President, Mr. President, right here, we, we, we might as well hear clearly what the ruling of the chair was. So if you would repeat that. Of course, I, I will. And um, pursuant to Senate Resolution 47, Section 4, the party's presentations are not limited. Um, Um, pursuant to Senate Resolution 47, Section 4, parties' presentations are not limited to the record provided for in Section 1 of that resolution. The Senator, Senator, from, uh, the Senator from Utah has appealed that ruling. Is that correct? Yes, I have. have you? Uh, and the, uh, the, the yeas and nays have been requested for sufficient and, and what is the question? Is it, shall the ruling of the chair be sustained? Is that the question? Yes. 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 The question is whether the ruling of the chair with respect to the No. No, no, no. And, and what may I ask is the ruling of the chair? My point was not about whether it's appropriate for them to make characterizations. My point was to strike them because they were false. The question is whether the ruling of the chair that Senate Resolution 47 yeah. applies to this situation is correct. The question is whether uh, Senate Re Resolution 47, Section 4, um, is correct. The party's presentations are not limited to the record provided for in Section 1 of that resolution. Mr. President, that is not my motion. You, you're, you, you've ruled on a motion. You've ruled on something that was not what I moved. What I asked was, uh, statements were attributed, uh, attributed to me repeatedly, as to which I have personal knowledge because I am the source. They are not true. I never made those statements. I asked that they be stricken. This has nothing to do with whether or not they're based on depositions, which they're not. It's simply based on the fact that I'm the witness. I'm the only witness. Those statements are not true, and I ask that you strike them. President. Let him rule. Mr. President. No, who's talking? Joe. What is it? The A's and A's were asked no. for on an appeal. Could. Mr. President. The Senate will vote on the appeal oh, wow. of the ruling of the chair that this. Is. Mr. Come on. I'm in trouble with the mic. I'm sorry. The, uh, the yeas and nays have been asked. Yeah, the yeas and nays have been asked for. The yeas and nays have been requested. Let him explain. On. Please let him explain, Mr. President. Why is it false? What was not false? What was false about it? Mr. President, I ask you unanimous debate, consent to debate, answer the Senator's question. Debate is question. not in order under Senate Resolution 47, Section 4. Uh, party's presentation is not limited to the uh, record provided for in Section 1 of that resolution. And that has been appealed. The yeas and nays have been requested. The clerk will call the roll. Ms. Baldwin. Mr. Barrasso. 
Mr. Bennett. Well, point of clarification. Point. What, what is the question? We're not allowed to here. Yes? I suggest the absence of a quorum while we work this out. Clerk will call the roll. Objection, clerk will call the roll. Ms. Baldwin.